Hey, tubes. More of what mom and dad's were doing. Some truck stuff. We're gonna work on dad's truck here and do the oil change on it. That's really all it needs right now. The flex just ring a ding a linged, said, hey, I need an oil change. Mom's car needs a wash. What's she doing on tires? She'll need to get new tires next summer, probably. These, yeah. I rotated these uh, last summer, but they're pretty even now. Yeah, she could probably get another summer out, and then that's, that's it. Uh, we got this thing last year, This time, about this time of the year. He's got brand new tires on it when he got it, so. This is just a two-wheel peeler. I don't know, these are Eco Plus tires, also Continentals. They grip pretty good. Um, I need to go get the key for this. I'm gonna have to switch batteries here again. I think these uh, eBay batteries I got are uh, not all that great. Oh, I haven't been in this one in a while. We got a actuator back there that's kind of kind of broke. Oh look, oil change required. Hey, let's get some AC going. I'm used to my hybrid. So you just turn it on, it's just on. This one's like, oh, I'm gonna turn the uh, thing on, and I'll, um, <sighs> oil change required. No check engine lights. No money lights. Okay. Let's uh, set you up right here in this little tray here. Can I move this? Yeah. Well, this is weird being in this truck. This seat's all weird too. It's not adjusted to me. <laughs> and then let's get her nice and warmed up. She kind of uh, said, oh, hey, wide open throttle? But but Jimmy's dad never does wide open throttle. Did this thing just like, <laughs> sorry dad, just blowing the cobwebs out of the catalytic converter. Converters. Did I really need my turn signal? Oh, there was a car behind me. people out enjoying their day so I can't uh, you know I can't chirp a tire that's okay I don't think dad wants me uh, burning rubber I'll buy you a new tire I'll buy you a new tire just want to get the engine warmed up I don't want to speed to this neighborhood because I get pissed off when people speed through my neighborhood so yeah 25 miles. I'm going 25 I'm right at 25 yeah, and one guy's like, hey, you look like you're going 26. I'm going 25, I promise. Okay, let's see if this battery will last the uh, oil dump rooney It's a 13 millimeter is what I'm gonna use. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this exhaust up here is kind of warm. Oh yeah, she needed to be changed. I 
I don't even know how many miles he's got on it. I think he just went till the uh, thing went ka -ching. We got this truck the same from the same dealer I got my truck or my car from. My Ford Fusion, Dix McKenzie Ford. <sighs> I don't even know if this has a cabin air filter on it. We should look and see if it does. If it does, I want to see how bad it is. Well, we'll let that drain out. Um, I just happened to get the right oil filter. I mean, I looked it up before I got it. It's a FL500S Motocraft filter. Um, I've got one with me, and I've got another one on order, which I'm going to put in my stock. Because I like to keep filters on stock from my parents. Because, you know, I'm that, I'm that kind of son. So, yeah, we'll just let that dribble and uh, go wash my hands. And well, Actually, I'm going to go work on that filter up front. I've got another drain pan with me I'm gonna put under there and while this one's puking. Actually can leave that plugged in. Okay. And then we got this one at the top of the bolt And that one. You just pull up and it releases it. Now we'll just take that, flop it over. Okay, let's see. Okay, we'll live up the uh ring here with some old oil because that's what we got readily available. I'm not pre-filling this one because I don't want to make any more of a mess than I already made. So if you guys don't like that, bite me. All right. Watercraft 520, that's what this thing called for, and I uh, was going to put 520 in it regardless. I want to get that down in there so I'm not, you know, spelling it. There we go. Look at that. Nice fresh gold going in there. You know, these engines were mainly for the Mustangs, but they started putting them in the trucks, and I wish they would put an adapter on this oil fill, and they're like, nope, just put different bearings on the bottom end and put it on a truck. But I do like this engine. I know uh, Bill C. Max had a, bought a brand new one of these with the 5.0, and his was burning oil really bad. And you know, the only thing I can think of, if it was consuming oil, um, it could just be one of those engines where when it was put together, someone, um, you know, kind of screwed up and put the rings in the wrong position, you know, that'll burn oil. You're like, where's the dipstick go? Well, I'll tell you what. In your butt. We still have to start it up and prime the oil filter too. It goes right down here. Uh, <laughs> there ain't nothing on the dipstick. Um, I have a feeling it probably takes seven quarts. This one I did not look up. I figured it would have been six. 
but uh, we might have to swing by the auto parts store and grab another bottle. But I want to get this thing where the truck's level and then check it that way. Okay, I'm gonna be, my hands are, you just, just go with it, go with it. And if we put too much in, I can uh, drain it out. No big deal. I'll clean out the other pan, drain in the pan. Wipe it out, throw out the flex. No, I'm just kidding. The flex won't notice any difference. Okay, so we put seven quarts in. And we're just barely hitting that hatch mark. I think what I would like to do is I'm gonna run it for a little bit and just make sure all the oil circulates. Um, that'll give time for all the oil that's in here that, well that should have all drained down anyways, but we'll let it run for a little bit in uh, like a minute or two, maybe less than that. And then, uh, then we'll check it again, probably put one more cord in. I got oil pressure. Okay, well, at least the gauge is working. <laughs> These foam things, people are like, what are those? These um, isolate injector noise. Okay, so this thing takes eight quarts of oil. Like, what is this, a diesel? So, yeah, um, we put the first five in and then we put three bottles in. You know, next time I do the oil change on this, I'm just buying two jugs. <laughs> I'm gonna get two jugs for it. <laughs> All right, so this thing's done. Um, I'm thinking, uh, why don't we go take it for a spin? We gotta go get another jug of oil, because I only have, yeah, I'm just gonna get another jug. I've only got three quarts, and mom's needs at least Five at the minimum. Uh, let me uh, wipe this oil I got on, on here off. Yeah, we're done under here. Real quick, before we go for a spin here, uh, let's see. Okay. Oh, 13.6. Now I don't want to buy one of these. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I don't want to reset that. I want to go to uh, settings. Uh, System re. No, no, I don't want to do that. Um, where? It's just settings. Information. System check. Okay. I should be able to. Where's my. Uh... What will I reset? Truck apps. Information. How do I reset it? Come on, the fusion's easier than this. Brakes, fuel level. I don't. Guys, how do we reset the thingy? Truck and settings. I don't want to reset system to factory default. What is it? Oh, wait, hang on. Ah, there we go. Set to 100%. Okay. Quiet start. What is that? What the hell is quiet start? Oh, yeah. Okay. We don't really care all that so much, but we'll just put it on there. Let's go get some Earl. Got my wallet, I got some money. Oh, and we gotta get mom beer. So guess what? This is why I'm driving the truck. We need the truck, we pickup truck and beer. America. We just need our 12 gauge shotgun, but we this is 
normal civilization here, so we, you know, we can't have any guns out here. We'll, we'll, you know, freak some people out. I actually really want one of these now. In four wheel drive. That's what I want. We'll get rid of the other truck. We'll keep the diesel. The diesel truck I'm never gonna sell because nobody wants to buy it because it gets a good fuel economy. I'll sell the other one and buy one of these. <laughs> just a little bit we don't normally do driving videos so I don't have any rigging to uh, keep that from happening could have just mounted it to the floor but then it'll flop over and smash and bang oh, I need to slow down I feel like I'm going 20 miles an hour and I'm doing 45 holy shit slow down Jimbo all right we're in the flexilla I'm gonna go take care of something for mom Oh, uh, the inside of this car, I'm probably going to probably gonna have one of her beers and vacuum this car out. This thing is dusty. And when I mean dusty, I mean hairy. Okay, sorry, Mom. Got to... Oh. Probably a wasp mess in behind that mirror. <laughs> Better put it in drive first. <laughs> I was like, why is it rolling back? What is this, got a manual transmission? Okay. We need to drive this thing. Get it warmed up before we change the oil. Because that's what I do with my rigs. I don't know what you guys do about yours, but I like to change a warm engine. We're going to go run this puppy through the car wash. And I put a can and air filter in this. <laughs> My mom uh, shamelessly admits to racing people in this thing. This thing's it's just an NA, naturally aspirated, no turbos. It, for how big and heavy it is, it gets up and goes. Come around the corner. Are you taking cash? Yeah. I got twelve dollars for the works. Works. So you got it. Do you want your receipt? No. Good to go. Mom's getting her car wash. Why? Because I'm a good son and I also don't feel like doing it. <laughs> Fuck that. My back hurts. Well, it doesn't hurt. I just I'm trying to keep it from hurting. Too close to Portland. <laughs> Alright. 
I decided to do this right in the cul-de-sac because it's just like good old times. Let's see. It was a 13 on the F-150. And it's uh, gonna be probably a 15 on this car. You might burn the shit out of yourself. That needed to be changed too. And we'll need to get a new uh, washer for this uh, next time. It just continually clicks. You're like, uh, well, we gotta put a new oil pan in this thing. Now this one should only take about five cords, six at the most. That's correct. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Or I could be wrong. Good, get a good grip on it. That's hot as shit. <laughs> I mean, what did I expect? I just drove it. 1516, and we got a nap of 1516. I had these because uh, the last oil change was kind of on a whim, so I just bought stuff from my local Napa, but. I think this usually uses a, uh, a 420S or a 8 something, I don't know. This car is uh, one of those weird build date ones where you have to get the right code. It's just it's stupid. There's no rubber seal up there because it didn't come with the old filter, so we don't have to worry about that. There we go. Apparently, if you, you have to angle it just right. Imagine that. Use up this partial here we got. This has got three quarts in it. I'll go crack open the other one. Hey, there's not a big pull of oil under this, is there? No. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole quart. This is a five quart jug. Almost there. Glue. Couple glugs and we'll just check it. Hey, your truck, I put six quarts in and checked the dipstick and I was like, there's nothing on it. And I looked under it and I'm like, I put everything back. It took eight quarts. What? Yeah. How do you go back and get another jug? It took eight, eight quarts. No, I'm not. Sucker took eight quarts. a little bit and then I'll check it again. Nothing leaking. <laughs> <laughs> 